In this video, I'm going to show you how to design this music album cover with Corel Draw 2020. So without any further ado, let's go into the video. Hello you guys, my name is Dennis, helping you build your graphic design skills. If this is your first time here and you want to learn graphic design and how to make creative designs, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video like this one. I'm going to link up all the resources I'll be using for this design on the description so you can get it and make your own design then send it to me on Instagram. And if you are using any other version of CorelDRAW apart from the latest version which is CorelDRAW 2020, you've got no problem, we are still on the same page. All you have to do is to understand all the tools I mentioned, then you are good to go. So let's begin the design. These are the resources I'll be using for this tutorial and next thing you want to do is to open up your Corel Draw. and once you open up your Corel Draw 2020, the first screen you see is this screen where you have to click on new document and you see this dialog box where you have to set how your job will look like. And basically we are designing an album cover and the standard size for that is 5 by 5 inches both for print and for online purpose so i'm going to set my unit to inches and i'm going to set my size to five width and five height that is the size then i'm going to leave my primary color mode at rgb click on ok to open up your document this way next thing you want to do is to click on your rectangle tool and double click to get this shape like this and right click here to take off the outline and that is okay next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my resources so i'm going to select them and bring them down to corel draw and these are the resources i'll be using for the design so this is the video a popular nigerian music artist which i'll be using for the design i believe you guys know him is a popular guy if you take a closer look at this image you discover that i made a kind of effect on this photo using photoshop like i've always said i use photoshop to add effects to my design before taking it to corel draw so i add this layer mask effect on this photo before bringing it to this design if it interests you to learn how i made this effect i'm going to link up a time lapse on the description or on the card so you click it and learn how to make this layer mask effect so i'm going to right click on the picture and click on power clip inside and click on my shape so the picture goes inside the shape i'm going to click alternate on my keyboard and click on the picture so i'll be able to select the picture inside the power clip so i'm going to hold here press shift while doing this to reduce the picture this way and that looks perfect next thing you want to do is to place your picture perfectly on the design so i'm going to adjust my picture this way till it fits my design place it in such a way that you place it here perfectly like this and that looks okay next thing you want to do is to bring in this background into the design so i'm going to click on my background press shift and adjust it this way and that looks perfect right click on the background and click on power clip inside and click on the shape so the background goes inside the shape like this press alternate and select the background and reduce it this way that looks perfect press ctrl page down to send it to the back next thing i want to do is to add the blur effect on this background so i'm going to click on effect and click on blur and click on gaussian blur and you set your blur to 1.7 pixel and i think that's okay set it to 1.7 pixel and click ok so the blur effect is perfect that way and i'm going to add a transparency effect to this so you click on transparency tool and click on uniform transparency to add this transparency to it but it's looking so bright so i'm going to click on my shape and give it a black color like this remember before the shape had no color that was why the background looked bright but now i've added the black color so it looks okay like this and next thing i'm going to do is to blend my picture with the background you see the yellow lights coming from this direction and the blue lights from this direction so i'm going to blend the background with the image itself so next up i'm going to click on the ellipse tool and create a perfect circle like this press control press control on your keyboard and create a perfect circle like this and give it a yellow color then you right click here to take off the outline convert it to bitmap like this and rgb color okay and you click on effect 
click on blur and click on gaussian blur then you have this blur effect like this so you adjust your radius the way down to 103.5 pixel that is okay then i'm going to reduce this and power clip it inside the background like this open up your power clip if you can't open it that way you click on edit if you are working with corel draw 2020 click on edit and you click on this and adjust it this way click on transparency tool and click on mage mode and change it to overlay and you have this effect like this you have to be careful while doing this so you won't overdo stuff here so i'm going to adjust this and i want this to work only on the shoulder and not the background because if it's on the background you have the background looking too yellowish so i'm going to reduce this and make it to be just on the shoulder like this and that looks okay click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate and make it look this way rotate it this way click and drag and right click before you leave and rotate once again so this effect affects just the shoulder just like this click and drag and bring it to this other direction and click to rotate it again and bring it to this direction you can reduce this and bring it here that looks perfect so you finish editing your power clip to see how it looks like now this side looks too yellowish i'm going to open up my power clip again and adjust it this way bringing it closer to the hand itself so i'm going to finish editing my power clip once again and it looks cool this way that is how it should be next thing i'm going to do is to type in this um Then I'm going to break this text like this and I'm going to uh, copy out best of, press ctrl x to cut and paste it here. Press ctrl k to separate them this way and the typeface I'll be using for this design is Pepsi. Uh, open it up and Pepsi, that's okay. I'm going to adjust it this way and bring it here. Adjust the size like this. Press shift and select the shape and press C to centralize. You can give it a yellow color like this. Then click on best of and do the same font or the same typeface and bring it here and reduce it this way. Bring it down here and give it yellow. Press shift and select the shape and press C. Then bring it closer a little. That looks perfect. Then next thing I'm going to do is to copy out 2020. Press Ctrl X and paste it here and bring it way down here and change the same typeface and that's perfect but this time i'm going to give this a white color 2020 sorry i should use 2021 rather and bring it here this looks okay click on the video and click on interactive field tool and fill it like this with orange and this looks perfect and Select all and press Ctrl X because I want this to overlap on the head here. So I'm going to open up my power clip again, edit and press Ctrl V and press Ctrl page down to send it to the back. Okay, that's okay. Press Ctrl G to group and give it a shadow like this using your shadow to increase your transparency to 79 and reduce your feathers to 10. That's perfect then finish editing power clip this looks cool next thing i'm going to do is to press ctrl k to break this text and give it the same typeface pepsi and bring it here and adjust it this way click here to take off the feel of the text and right click on white to give it a white outline like this press ctrl q to curve the text so i can adjust the point of the hairline like this to one point leave the hairline at one point that's okay press shift and select this and press c to centralize this looks cool and bring in hosted by dj candy down here and give it another typeface futura medium perfect and give it this font size 12 points give it a yellow color 
and that looks perfect press shift and select the shape again and press c this looks nice next thing i'm going to do is to add a kind of black transparency down here so it makes this hosted by dj candy pop up a little and the mixtape as well so i'm going to open up my power clip once again or you right click and click on edit power clip and you see this way click on the shape tool and create this shape like this and give it black color right click here to take off the outline click on the transparency tool and create this transparency like this and that looks cool so i'm going to open it up and i think this okay then finish editing power clip or you right click here and click on finish editing power clip and that looks nice and this is the final look of our design but before that i'm going to add a noise effect on this design to make it look better than this so i'm going to open up my power clip again and click on the background click on effects and click on noise and click on add noise then i'm going to leave it at uniform make sure your noise type is at uniform and your level is at 70 your density is at 70 and your color mode is at intensity so you give it okay that's perfect you see how it looks like on the background and i'm going to select best of the video 2021 as well convert it to bitmap rgb color okay and add the same noise effect again noise add noise and it carries the same setting so you click on ok then you can finish editing power clip or you right click and click on finish editing power clip so this is how it looks like let's see how our final design looks like if this video was helpful leave a like on this video and comment if you learned something new through this video and i will appreciate that and don't forget to share this video to other graphic designers who may find this video helpful thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you next time